Greetings and welcome to the Crafty Bob Community News. I'm Mr. Jolie DeAngelis, pinch hitting for my dear wife. She's having some jaw trouble, so she needs to give it a rest. That's almost as good as winning the Crafty Bob Bingo Pot. Oh, did I say that out loud? Let's get on to some of our news items. We have a number of fun items today. First of all, we'll start off with the boss putting some moves on here. Uh, Carol Clark uh, had a fun day at Hardwick Hall and mentions that on a recent visit, we found Crafty Bob having a crafty cuddle and a chat with the lady of the house, Bess of Hardwick. Way to go, Bob. These gentlemen did some find a fundraising for a, a worthy cause. Sue Maycock reports that on the 7th of October, her husband Tony, the tall gentleman in the middle, and two friends set off on a 100-mile bike ride in the aid of charity, the Huntington's Association. They were initially hoping to raise a thousand pounds and they have managed to raise over two thousand pounds so congratulations on working so hard. How about this little cutie? Liz Harrison says that her dog Macy, uh, her Scotty dog, really loves her Crafty Bob mug and who wouldn't? It was bought for family use but Macy has claimed it as her own. A good choice there Macy. Another cutie sent in by Anne-Marie Vaux says they had a great day at the Sea Life Center and this little penguin had a wonderful time having his photo taken. So we appreciated him sharing his photogenicness. How's that for an eyeful? This marvelous castle, Joanna Swinton sends in this beautiful a picture from a castle in Spain. Inside, believe it or not, was a fantastic ship inside this castle. Uh, Joanna comments, it belonged to a man that had a lot of creativity and love for his work. Just like a crafty fellow that we all know. Here we have Ann Smith uh, taking her scuba diving instructor exams. A very intense day, but great fun. And we're happy to report that Ann has passed all three parts of her exam, meaning that she's now authorized to teach people unsupervised in open water. So congratulations, Ann. And if you look at it that way, you can read the N on the flippers there. These two lovely ladies here, to my left, from Cheryl French, we have a, her beautiful granddaughter. That was just born on the 10th of October. And to my right, from Sheila Rogers, uh, we have another granddaughter, beautiful baby girl, Phoebe Molly. So we want to welcome them to the the crafts fam crafty print family in this lovely installment here we have Sylvia Griffin who has uh, broken all the all the uh, protocol rules there at the, at the polka dance there coming pulling in on her bike <laughs> Sylvia is dressed up in her dirtle a bike in a dirtle so everyone no doubt stopped and stared when she when she roared into the building with that no she didn't really do that but it was a lovely uh, lovely picture to take thank you for sharing that Sylvia well, as we saw at the outset, Crafty Bob is very good with hugs, and he certainly wants to send out a great big huge hug and loving support to Marion West and Annie B. Crafty. And so there's big hugs coming your way, and we hope that that's uh, comforting to help you to feel better. And finally, a new, uh, new feature for the Gold Star Hunters, there's a, a Coming Soon feature. It's a new page called Coming Soon in the crafter control panel and it'll show you what's coming soon to crafts you print and also the estimated time of arrival on the site so that's something to be looking forward to happening soon well thank you very much for bearing with me uh, this is Mr. Jolice DeAngelis reporting for crafts you print community news